Just recently, one of Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop stores erupted in flames and a few people were rushed to the hospital. This is because some store patrons were attempting a stunt that they saw on TikTok. So let's look into what happened here and some other goopy incidents as well. Alright, so you may or may not have heard of Goop. It was kind of a meme for a while, but just in case you don't know what it is, I'll go ahead and give it a little bit of an explanation. It's kind of hard to describe what Goop even is, but the company calls itself a wellness and lifestyle brand. It was founded by none other than Gwyneth Paltrow back in 2008 and started out as a weekly newsletter that offered kind of new agey health advice. This advice was stuff like eliminate white foods and police your thoughts. Their slogan was nourish the inner aspect. So yeah, it, it was one of those companies. Eventually, they started collaborating with various fashion brands, setting up small shops here and there, and even started making their own products, along with magazines, a podcast, and a Netflix series about the brand. Not only that, but they held an annual Lifetime Wellness Summit, which sounds like the name of a class that I had to take in freshman year of college that taught me how important it is to show up to class and shower regularly. But anyway... While I have never bought a Goop product for myself and I can't really vouch for the quality, I can say that the store has come under fire a lot in the past for being kind of pseudo sciency type garbage with no practical effect. The word snake oil salesman came up a lot in the research for this, so that might give you kind of a feeling. People have been selling snake oil for a long time. This is just another type of, of, uh, of snake oil. If you want a good example of what kind of product I'm talking about here, look no further than the Jade Egg, which is a $66 egg-shaped rock that is to be used for uh, vaginal weightlifting. Just a word of warning, the word vagina is going to come up a lot during this episode thanks to these product names. Apparently, gynecologists were pretty universally not in favor of the Jade Egg, calling it a, quote, load of garbage. Officials from the Consumer Protection Office in California have also sued Goop over cases of false advertising when it came to the mountain of unfounded health claims they would make about their products. With those, Goop eventually settled outside of court. And that brings us to today's episode. A lot of you are wondering why the hell I am even talking about this. Well, that's because these products have been shown to be criminally unsafe in the past. You see, Goop has been sued several times in the past, and several class action lawsuits have come up against them. As it turns out, the products have been known from time to time to explode. Just recently, last month on June 25th, the police were called out to the Goop store located in Sag Harbor in New York when a large explosion of flames was reported during a small event that was taking place in the store. During the event, store candles were being used to melt marshmallows to make s'mores. One of the event managers had apparently seen this sort of thing trending on TikTok recently and decided it was worth a shot. However, someone decided that the candles weren't heating the marshmallows enough, so it was decided to pour rubbing alcohol on them in order to enhance the flame. As you can imagine, they straight up fucking exploded. One man nearby suffered from fairly severe facial burns, and another ended up with a large burn across the back of his neck and head after the flames flared out. They said that the injuries occurred after too much alcohol was added to the flames, kind of implying that they thought any alcohol should have been added, but yeah. The police were able to apply some ice packs to the wounds on the scene, but it wasn't really good enough, especially for the guy with burns across his head and neck. His ears had taken some pretty bad damage as well, so he had to be helicoptered out to the Stony Brook University Hospital for treatment. The other man, whose injuries were also pretty severe but not quite that extreme, was taken by ambulance to the Southampton Hospital. I've been doing this for 26 years and I've seen a lot, but nothing like this, said Officer McGuire, a first responder on the scene. Thankfully, there was a fire extinguisher at the location and they were able to extinguish the men who were outside on the patio. He added that things could have gotten a lot worse if that extinguisher hadn't put the flames out as quickly as it did. A representative for Goop was quick to tell anybody who would listen that nobody else was harmed in the incident. They denied that the part about the candles and alcohol was even true, despite a large number of people attending the event reporting that that's exactly what happened. They really wanted to emphasize that the candles had nothing to do with this, so why is that? 
Well, as you may guess, it's usually the candles that tend to explode, even without any alcohol being involved. Back in January of 2021, a woman in London named Jody Thompson bought one of the $75 This Smells Like My Vagina candles from Goop and set it up at her home. Apparently this candle is supposed to smell like bergamot, cedar, and geranium. So what vaginas Gwyneth Paltrow was smelling to think that... Ah, moving on. Upon lighting it, she says that it, quote, exploded and emitted huge flames with bits flying everywhere. Maybe the candle was actually scent of burning apartment complex in reality. A few minutes after I lit the candle, it exploded, Jody Thompson told the news. Flames roared half a meter out of the jar and bits of molten wax flew out as it fizzled and spat. We couldn't get near it to blow out the flames as they were so ferocious, and we didn't want to throw water on it for fear of splashing molten wax everywhere. Luckily, I had it placed on concrete at the base of what was once a fireplace, she said. At least it seems that Jody and her partner were able to put the fire out before it got too bad, saying, We eventually got it under control and threw it out the front door. It could have burned the place down. It was scary at the time, but funny looking back that Gwen's vagina candle exploded in my living room. This was just a few months later after another woman in the area had reported that exact same thing happening to her. Jody ended her story with, Thankfully, after what seemed like an age, but was probably no more than five minutes, the flames subsided and I could blow the candle out. The charred jar and melted label were a testament to how hot it had become. When she spoke to Goop about this, they reportedly offered her more candles as compensation. Which... time out. So you give someone a candle, it explodes, and you apologize by giving them the same kind of candle again? Alright. Just a few months later in May, a man in Texas named Colby Watson ended up going through a similar situation after his vagina candle burned for a few hours only to become engulfed in flames. Also, being a this smells like my vagina candle, he noted that it lasted for about three hours before it finally exploded. Luckily, the flames didn't really spread, instead leaving his table with a circular burn mark and charring the candle itself. Nothing too horrible, all things considered. Either way, he geared up to sue. His representatives are trying to bring the case to trial and are looking for up to $5 million in damages for both him and other clients who, quote, through no fault of their own, bought defective and dangerous vagina-scented candles. I can't believe I'm saying these words. In the end, though, Goop battled both of these claims in court, even saying that they hadn't sold Thompson a candle in the first place, claiming that he was simply trying to ride the bad press and make a buck off the company. So, back in the present day, talking about this incident, the Goop representative has simply said, We are wishing a speedy recovery to the two injured parties and are grateful there were no additional injuries. No candles were in use at the time of the accidental fire. So, all in all, in the end, I don't know why you would buy a vagina candle from a woman trying to get you to shove jade eggs into your orifices and be happy about it in the first place, but uh, those are just my two cents. So, once again, thank you for watching my channel. This video was stupid, and it's probably the dumbest one I've ever made, aside from maybe that one video about the fart that exploded during surgery. That was a low, too. But a lot of people sent me links to this, and it's technically kind of criminal, and people got hurt, so I can cover it here, I think. If you found it interesting, please give this video a like, and if you like content like this, feel free to subscribe. If you don't mind, be sure to add me on social media, because if anything were ever to happen to this channel, that would probably be the only way you'd ever hear about it. If you want to support the channel even further, I do have a Patreon, which I keep linked down in the description below. And speaking of which, shout out to the top patrons. So we've got Entrepreneur, Grack, El Palmieri, Salad, Kevin, AMCMT, Rick of Work in Progress USA, Tang, Sash Johnson, Marianne McCurdy, Buttery Frankis, Wafrans, Jules Latona, Arctic Cat, Alan Damiani, Adrian Lawley, Marsh, Buffazerk, Rinsenstein, Kim Peek, Lux Alpaca, Charity, Scoochy Maine, Jackie, and Mark Barnett. You guys are top tier patrons and top tier peoples. So this has been Kyle with Dire Trip. Thank you and have a good night.
I'm a crazy mother from around the way. <laughs>